Hi friends, I wasn't planning on getting on here like right now, although I was going to go live today, uh, about a totally different topic. And I switched gears because I was in the middle of like this moment in my kitchen right now, hot and sweaty. And I wanted to share it with you. I thought this was more important in the moment to translate. I haven't told you a story in a while, and this is a little bit of a before and after story, like in real life, <laughs> in my real actual life for you. I was just out in my garden today, hence the hot and sweaty uh, part. Um, and I was harvesting and weeding and taking care of bug problems and, ugh, you know, like a gardener's worst nightmare stuff too. And I was like torn between like frustration and gratitude for that. I gotta be honest. I'm super gratitude, gratitude, grateful and like appreciative of my, my garden this year. It's like the best garden we've had in many years. Let me show you actually out my window. I think I can flip this, hang on. There's my garden, like all fenced in. And I know it goes like, you're on my window. It goes back to that corner and then to my rusty shed. The peas are starting to die now. We've got droopy, droopy veggies. I gotta water when it cools down a little. If I water now, I'll burn the leaves. Um, but I've got a lot going on out there. You can see it's pretty lush and green. And this is like the biggest, truly the biggest, best garden we've ever had in this space. We created this space years ago. Um, right when we like were starting to play in a family, starting to have our family. And here's the story. Hang on. Hi again. So we had varying degrees of a garden. Some years... We had part of a garden out there. Some years we had no garden at all while we were having babies or if I was sick um, and not doing my greatest so I couldn't take care of like cultivating the land and growing other things. I was growing babies and raising babies and trying to heal myself. But gardening or homesteading in suburbia, as I call it, which for us is more than even just gardening. It's a lifestyle in and outside of our home and in our home. Um, it was always a goal of mine. Before I had Lyme, while I was healing Lyme, um, I just always had this dream of like this life that I'm living right now, but it was tucked away, suppressed, unrecognized, unrealized because I didn't think it would ever be fully possible. Even when I was dabbling in it, even when I was trying to homestead here and trying to have even a mini garden, I have some pots on my porch, you know, whatever. I was satisfied in doing that, but I was also not I knew not living the fullness of the dream that I really wanted to be accessing and living. So you can be grateful and dissatisfied at the same time. That's the first lesson in this story for me. There can be gratitude and dissatisfaction at the same time, and it's okay. There's no need to like gratitude shame people. It's not that you can't be grateful and still want more. And sometimes you're grateful and content, and that's cool too. I just remember knowing that I just wanted more for our lives. And this is some of my goals realized here today. Ignore my drying mat. I've got my salad bowl ready to go drying here. This was from my grandma. Isn't that cool? My grandma's salad bowl that we eat so many Italian salads out of my whole growing up years. Friends bequeathed us with some of their garden harvest here in the form of my zucchini or my squash, summer squash. But all this, lettuces, kale drying in here, um, switch gears, uh, more lettuces, huge bunches. There's more in the garden to harvest too. Tons of bok choy. All of this is my dreams being realized on my countertop, literally. My kitchen right now, even, even this guys, even being able, I forgot to show this, being able to bring in the beauty of a cut flower garden that like was a more recent goal of mine to have. All of it is my dreams realized. And I was sitting here literally washing this very kale thinking, I got to get on here and tell you guys, this is exactly why I created this space, my website, my content, and in particular, the Design Your Holistic Lime Healing Blueprint. This moment that I'm having right now in my own gratitude, in my Wednesday, Wednesday, is what I 
want to give to you because everyone can have it. I didn't think I could and I spent too many years maybe avoiding it, maybe suppressing it, maybe not working towards it as hard as I could have because I was told it wouldn't be possible. I was discouraged by the ups and downs of healing. I was afraid to claim my dreams and my own healing. And so the program that I just rolled out, the blueprint as everyone's calling it, Design Your Holistic Lime Healing Blueprint is the full name, is exactly so that you can have your dreams realized and not waste time getting there and not be suppressed by the fear of dreaming and not be held back by the anxieties brought on by healing. The garden thing may seem simple. It may not be your dream. It may seem like no big deal. That's fine. It's my current situation. You have your own current situation. You have your own current dreams. It might not be to homestead and have gardens like I do. That's cool. That's fine. Whatever your dreams are, however big or small you may think they are or they may feel or seem, you deserve to pursue them and to dream them and to live them healed and whole and in its full glory. You deserve to stand at your sink washing kale with tears streaming down your face because you never really thought seeing yourself there one day meant anything. You thought it was just torturing you to dream that dream. That's not your reality. It doesn't have to be. It won't be. The program I designed is exactly the steps to take away from that lie that you can't live your dreams. You can't be healed. You can't sustain your healing. You can't do massive things with your life because of the Lyme diagnosis. Bull crap. It's a lie. You're more than a diagnosis. The diagnosis means nothing in light of your dreams and who you were created to be. So my before was afraid to be a dreamer. My after, my current reality, dream away, baby. <laughs> the lettuce is only the beginning. <laughs> all right, I got to go put dinner on the table now with all this nonsense. <laughs> so the work is just beginning over here. But I do it with gratitude today because it's bigger than just pulling some leaves out of my garden. It's the culmination of a lot of dreams. So if you're ready for the case study for the blueprint program to see what I'm talking about, to see how that program is going to be the accelerant for the trajectory of meeting your dreams for you, getting you there faster, getting you there with less energy expenditure than I had to put in, let me know. The case study is 90% off the program price. You don't want to miss out. The seats are limited. So just let me know if you want to take a peek at it and I'll hook you up. In the meantime, go pursue your dreams. Don't let a day go, go by that you don't put one foot in front of the other towards your dreams. Even if it just means telling yourself it's possible. That's the start. Bye for now.